Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Seek to find out the keys that are responsible for influence and access, like you so greatly prophesied where kings agree that you are king over them the bible says several men came to david in the cave of adulam and that they said that they submitted himself to be king over them are we together now as you might have heard me say this kingdom that we are part of is a compendium of infinite possibilities you have to agree on this. Are we together now? That the possibilities that are in this kingdom are as vast as God himself. And that means that in the entire span of a believer's journey, whatever you are able to capture throughout your lifetime becomes your the frame of your understanding of who God is and how far he's able to take you. Are we together now? And that the theology that your life will write will be based on your perspective about God. And so all through history, we've had people come up with different ideas about who God is and the pathway that makes for victory in the kingdom. Others as a result of their prolonged frustrations have found ways to shut down certain names of God because of their experiences. They have lived long on the earth and have not been able to capture certain dimensions of God. And so to them, those dimensions no longer exist. It is dangerous to teach from the frame of your limitation. The Bible says in Acts chapter 18 that there was a man called Apollos. The Bible says he was a mighty man who was fervent in scripture. The kind of man every pastor will be looking for. The Bible says, but he knew only the baptism of John. One day he came for a conference like this and believed he was impressing everybody. And yet there were two strange people who sat in that congregation called Aquila and Priscilla. While they listened to him vent out his limitation, they appreciated his passion. But the Bible says after that service, they held him and expounded to him the way of the kingdom more perfectly. So if Apollos had written an epistle, you will be misled passionately reading the, reading the limitation of a man. You see, let me tell you this one of the challenges with the body of christ and i say this respectfully is that many times limitations and create doctrines out of them and we mentor people from the vista of our limitation and from one generation to one gen another generation we begin to close the gap or we begin to close the opportunity for god to manifest his vastness so if I never experience favor in my life, everyone who is mentored by me will be mentored to disregard that reality. If I do not experience speed in my life, I, I convert my pain to a theology. And now I teach it so that whoever should have, should release his faith for more of God, now is compelled as a proof of his loyalty to my ideology. He now sabotages an opportunity to step into the fullness of God. I hope you understand what I'm saying. This is not a call to sarcasm. This is a believer's conference. We are challenging ourselves to say there is more in God. Oh yes, there is more. Brothers and sisters, once again, let's become students of history. There is more in God. Time will fail me, Hebrews says, to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak, men who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, shut the mouth of lions. I came to shake your faith and shake your convictions and tear that limitation to let you know that this God you see is more than the frame of our experiences 
and we must tell him Maranatha come more of you the fullness of your counsel when I pray for 100 people and only two people are healed I turn my embarrassment into a theology rather than using it as a drive to press for deeper dimensions knowing that God is true and only men are liars I would turn my embarrassment and say the person who did not get healed I find a very intelligent theological reason and everybody who watches me they will frame their lives after my limitation let me tell you sincerely this God that we serve we are yet to scratch a bit of the, the vastness of the power the grace the possibilities that are in Christ and I believe in the name of Jesus that in our lifetime that we are hungry and desperate and unashamed enough to push to these dimensions that once again we will sign a signature in this generation that there were men and women who knew God and proved their knowledge of him through the exploits and the impacts the Bible says but the people that do know their God they shall be strong capacity and then they will do exploits please sit down are we blessed so we must establish that fact he says stand in the ways and see as for the old path the old path is not the path of a denomination no the old path is you see God let me tell you how God works every time he's about to introduce himself in a new way he simulates a pattern around it for continuity are we together so that whoever wants to experience that dimension of God will have to learn the pattern he created so for instance when he was going to introduce because until Adam came there was no idea of expansion through reproduction it was only creation this is what confused the devil all of a sudden he sees a woman's stomach protruding and then another man comes out of it and say what is this every time God wanted to expand he would create but he invented the formula of reproduction through Adam and Eve that was why Satan looked for Cain that was the first man who was the product of reproduction Cain that meant Satan was seeing a formula God had put in man now that the womb of a woman can now make many more men he didn't know that the woman's womb could get pregnant again he thought Cain was the only one so he came to him <laughs> now we're not please sit down sit down sit down this is not we're not this is not where I'm going at all just just help me support my focus are we together you want a baby you subscribe to the pattern that was created is that true salvation when Jesus came he didn't just save man do you know as powerful as God was and is he did not cast sin out of men he didn't stand to say I God Yahweh I use my might as the creator of the heavens and the earth and I cast sin out of men because he had created a pattern the pattern says without the shedding of blood it is illegal to remit sins it's a pattern number two there is a pattern that says the wages of sin is death now when God came to the earth he himself had to submit to those patterns now listen carefully spiritual patterns hold the key to the exploits of the saints in this kingdom it takes more than a good desire it takes more than a kind well-meaning heart 
brothers and sisters hear me there are many well-meaning people well-meaning preachers the exploits that your pastor is having today is not just because he's a good man as wonderful as he is and his dear wife I can tell you that he has found like a spiritual archaeologist spiritual patterns these are the patterns that secure the glory of God so there is a pattern that is responsible for administering salvation are we together now you do not think salvation and then you are saved no that's not the pattern for it the pattern that administers salvation as we know new birth is found in Romans chapter 10 when you read from verse 8 to 10 is that true the Bible says the word is near you in your mouth and in your hearts the word of faith which we preach that if you will confess that's the pattern with your mouth the Lord Jesus believe in your hearts that God raised him from the dead salvation is administered to you the formula is in the next verse it says for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth salvation is I mean confession is made unto salvation so it is a pattern. Anybody who does not subscribe to that pattern is not saved. It's as honest and sincere and simple as that. There are Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.